Hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i was planning on making a makeup look video with the products that are affordable and when i was like mm, affordable makeup products the very first brand that comes to my mind is wet and wild if you want to know more about the products then please keep on watching for primer i am using wet and wild photo focus dewy face primer This is an illuminating primer. Doesn't fill your pores. It gives a nice glow to my face. For the foundation, taking Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Toffee Pecan. It's a full coverage foundation. You need little product. This comes with a spatula on its own. Recently got brushes from the Wet n Wild. I'm trying these for brushes for the first time. Blending my foundation using a flat brush. To be honest this brush was okay it does the job but not the best Moving forward I'm using this photo focus concealer from the Wet n Wild in the shade medium deep tan Since I have deep set eyes I'm going to take the concealer down I saw this technique on YouTube so I'm trying that out Let's find out if it works or not. Using the same flat brush, I'm blending the concealer. This brush doesn't get to the corners, so I had to blend it with my fingers. need a little bit coverage so going again with the concealer applying it where i need more coverage while blending i'm concentrating on the inner corners not gonna drag it now applying the concealer on my forehead bridge of my nose and around my mouth Next to set my face, I am using Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. Taking the banana shade and dusting it all over my face. To bring some shadow back to my face, I am going to take the dark brown shade and apply it on my outer perimeter. Now contouring my nose. For blush, I am using Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. You have to be careful with this blush; it's pigmented. Little goes a long way. Since I don't have a eye primer from Wet n Wild, I am using the same concealer as a primer. To fill in my brows, I am using Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. I don't remember the shade name, but it is the darker shade. All the details will be in the description box. This is highly pigmented. You have to be careful. I'm going with a light handed, as you can see. I have two palettes for my eyes. One is comfort zone and the other one is rosé in the air. Taking this light brown shade and applying it on my crease as a transition shade.
taking this burgundy shade I'm gonna apply it below my crease to create a depth the burgundy shade was not pigmented as I expected to be so I'm going to use the brown shade from the rose in the air palette applying this brown color in the outer corner just below the burgundy shade then blending with a fluffy brush the transition shade was gone so I had to apply it again taking this duochrome shade and applying it to the one third of my eyes then blending the edges I did mess a little bit on my outer corner so I am cleaning with the powder banana powder which I used to set my face taking the burgundy shade I am gonna define my waterline and connecting to the upper lash line as well highlighting my inner corner using a golden shade from comfort zone palette to set my face i am using wet and wild photo focus natural finish setting spray using this felt tip liner i am going to draw a wing eyeliner Seriously, I struggle so much to line my eyes. It doesn't work on the pigment, I guess, because when I swatched it on my hands, it is fine. But on my eyes, it's not working. At last, I gave up and gone for the Blue Heaven eyeliner. For mascara, I am using Max Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. If you're looking for a lengthening mascara then this is the one. It doesn't give volume to your lashes. For the lips I'm using Wet n Wild Catsuit lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. It's a beautiful nude shade for dusky skin like me. For your references I'm in the shade NC43.5 in MAC. For the highlighter, I am using Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petal. This is the final look you guys. I really enjoyed filming this video. If you really enjoyed watching this tutorial, give a big fat thumbs up and let me know what you think of this look in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye. See you on my next video. Please subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on Instagram, please do. The link is in the bio.